In episode 59, we learned how to use arrays in computed properties. In episode 60, we learned how to use setters in computed properties. In this episode, we'll learn how to use setters for arrays. Setters can be used as the opposite of getters. So here, for example, we can use the business card setter to backfill company and full name, and full name backfills last name and first name. Our current array property getters aren't really a great fit for that because it's hard to split up a summed total into its constituent parts. So we'll create a new one. And this new one will just be called titles. And it'll be a list of all the titles of every documentary. So we'll start off with this just the getter. So we'll create the computed property titles and we'll make it depend on each of the documentaries name. Then we'll grab the documentaries, we'll map them by name, and then we'll join them together to create a string. We can see that it is working. It lists all of the titles in a relatively well-formed English list. So let's turn this getter into a setter as well. First, we'll go in here and we'll turn it into a text area. And we'll give it the class of big text area. That's a custom class. Then we'll go into our controller and turn it into a setter. Just like in our previous setter, we'll return the value at the end. It's what we do in the middle that's more interesting. So we'll take our value and split it up by the commas in order to get an array of titles. Notice this turns it into an array again, and it array is in the same order as the documentary's array. So we'll take that array of titles and we'll loop through them. The for each function gives you the title and the index. So we're going to use both of those. To get the documentary for that index, we're going to get the documentary's array and find it at the index. We can do this using this.get. And then we'll use ember.set to set the name for that documentary as the title. Let's see this in action. So we have our lists, and turns out this movie was misnamed. It was really about a bunch of statisticians, so it's called The Averagers. And it changes up here. You should know that before I recorded this episode, I thought this was going to be a lot longer. I thought there was going to be a lot more work in getting an array set than just this. That goes to show you that doing this type of thing in Ember is going to be, it's a little scary before you get into it, but then once you get into it, it's a lot easier than it might seem at first. So there are things we could make it more complicated. For example, we could sort this array and then we'd have to find it by some other means rather than index. Or we could want to add or remove and have that reflect back in the documentaries. But each of those is just a discrete challenge where you combine your knowledge of setters with your knowledge of JavaScript and Ember. I hope this helps you out, and I'll see you next time.